Hi, this is PDF Berzer Arcade at BerzerArcade.com and this is tutorial 140. Now in our previous tutorials we've been working up to equipping weapons. So we've had our chests when it spawns randomly generate uh, items for us. And when we open them up, you know, we can see them, add them to our inventory, and now we can click them in our inventory and add them to our player. Uh, in this tutorial I want to start working on adding the proper mesh to our character for the weapon that they currently have equipped. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and I'll also open up Mono Develop. All right, so I've gone ahead and in previous tutorials I showed you how I was going to equip my items to my character. And since I don't really have that many different ones, I've equipped them all to my character. And what I'm going to do is rename them to the name that they're getting from our our script generation. So actually let's open up a chest here. We'll start it up. And I'll just open the chest. And you'll notice this one's called a Salifi, a Short Sword, and Morningstar, the three that I've created. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my ambient sounds just to make things a little bit easier to understand. Or at least hear me. So let me just find my player camera. I'm going to shrink that down and I'm going to turn off my audio source and that should stop the playing and it does all right so I'm going to select one of my weapons and you see I have it hooked up to my mount and in this particular model provided by Fro Games it's called mount 3 and I'm probably not going to do anything with the mount but I generally like to rename them to something a little more logical to me and mount 3 just doesn't do it so I'm going to call this main hand because I know I'm going to want all my weapons equipped my main hand and like I previously said I'm probably not going to do anything with it but I'm still going to rename it so if we look underneath I have a few different weapons here equipped uh, there's a sword my morning star the fork that I've been running around with and a couple different axes so what I'm going to do is start renaming these so I'm not actually going to do anything with axe one so I'm going to disable it. Axe 3, I'm going to name it uh, Salifi, and I believe that was the spelling I used. I'll have to check. And once I've renamed it, I'll disable it. And the fork I don't actually use yet, so I'll disable that. On my morning star, I just have to get the letters off the end. And I'm not too worried about capitalization because I'm not going to be calling them by name. I just want to have the proper spelling so I know uh, comparison to the script what it is and this is actually my short oh I forgot to disable the morning star after renaming and this is actually my short sword but looking at it it's not very short so I'm gonna go ahead and just call it sword and it will be the the basic sword that everyone has so I'll disable that as well. And since I called it sword, I am going to want to go over to my item generator script and I'm going to want to rename it here to sword. I'll save that off. But that also means I have to come into my resources folder and change it there as well. Uh, resources, uh, melee weapon, and right here. All right, so I've got them all changed. Now I'm going to come into my player character class. And I'm going to create an array up top here. So this will be of game objects. So it's um, I'm going to keep it private because I don't think any other class is going to want to have access to this. And to be honest, I really don't want to keep this in my player class. My player class, I would like to keep as a container for all of the stats of my player. So I could say, you know, give me inventory item number five for my player and get that from this class. Or take a look to see what uh, weapon I have equipped and get it back from this class. But for now, I'm just going to put it here because, well, I don't really want to create another class and I haven't planned that far ahead to where I want this placed. So we're just going to call this array. It's going to be of type game objects. And 
Auto sense isn't working for me today, but that's okay. And I'm going to call this weapon meshes. I'll just keep it singular, weapon mesh. Now I'm going to save that off, and actually I am going to have to make it public after all because I want it exposed to the inspector. So I'll save that off. I'll come back into Unity. And when I select my player, I have an error. So we'll just head back into Mono Develop. And the error and the, because the auto sense wasn't showing up was because up here I'm not using the Unity engine. So we'll just add that if I spell it right. So I'll save that off again. We'll head back into Unity and the error should go away. And it does. So I'm going to close up my player now. And when I select it, if I look at the player character script, we now have weapon meshes exposed. So I'm going to open up that uh, array and I'm going to set it to a size of three. And well, I guess I should have left it open, my player game object. And I'm going to start dragging the items over. I actually want them to be all lowercase, but it really doesn't matter, like I said before. So, of course, now I screwed that up. Uh, we'll select my player again <laughs> and start dragging the items over. So I'm going to start off uh, with the sword. I'll go with the morning star. And it looks like I moved my Saliffy. So I'll move it back. And of course, I have to select my player again. And we'll drag the Saliffy down there now. Now you can get all fancy, make it alphabetical or you know whatever you want. Uh, just keep note of what order they are in. And I'll save off my scene. I'm going to head back into Mono Develop. And during this set method, when we're actually equipping an item, is when I'm going to want it to enable the proper mesh. So I'm going to change the format a bit, just to give me a bit more room. And now instead of saying just equip weapon equals value, I'm also going to want to get the name of the equipped weapon and equip the corresponding mesh. So I'm going to do this with a case block. So I'm just going to come down here and do a switch. And what we're going to switch on is the equipped weapon dot name. And we'll just make case blocks for it. So case, uh, the first one will be sword. And for now, I'm just going to do a debug. And I'm just going to copy this for the rest of the examples. So next will be, oh, let's do Saliffy. And next will be Morningstar. And I'm going to add one more. And this one's going to be called default. And now I've talked about our switch blocks having a default before, but we've never gone into it. And this is going to be for when they don't have a weapon. So I'll just debug out fist. Now if we go back into Unity, uh, provided we have no errors, there should be debug messages now every time we equip something. So let's go ahead, we'll open up a chess. And luckily we got all three types in here. Great. So I'm gonna equip the Sliffy first. And of course it's detecting my double click and it's giving me the message that I have the Sliffy equipped. So we'll grab the sword next and we notice it's still swapping like it should and we're getting the sword. And we'll go with the Morning Star. There we go. So let's actually start activating those meshes. It looks like we're almost at 10 minutes for this one, so I'm going to save it off and I'll start on the next one. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.